Hey everyone! Welcome to my casual playthrough of Happiness. We're going to um, on the Ultra Violence difficulty on Crystal Dim. I don't know. That's how most YouTubers introduce their playthroughs. And, um, copying them. Um, anyway, yeah, first thing I want to do in this map is grab the shotgun. Oof. That's the problem with Revenant Tracers, they can hit a long time after. I'm gonna turn off turn up this music. Yeah. This is good music, I think. Good media. Oh, another revenant. Okay. Damn. <laughs> All right. Let's try that again. Then go straight to the shotgun. Cause I just hate having to use a regular pistol. Okay, and I want to make sure this chain gunner dies. Yeah, alright. The chain gun's gonna be pretty useful later on. Like, how about right now? It's much more fun than using the regular shotgun. Don't you think? Okay. Couple more enemies to clear out of this opening area. Could have dealt with them later, but might as well do it now. Okay. Now I'm gonna save. Um, I'm gonna head down. Oh, oh, it's over here, right. buttons does something. I think it's just gonna let me advance to here. The super shotgun is trapped I'm pretty sure. So I gotta be careful. Yeah just look at that flashing light. That's a clear indicator that you're walking into a trap. Bonuses. Yeah, we're all healed up. That enters the next room, but I want the SSG first. Thought it was trap. Maybe not. Maybe I'm supposed to just go right down there. I die a lot here too, so. Yeah, because this is where uh, some of my previous attempts ended. Um, and you can see those previous attempts in my last video, because it's all the attempts I made. Um, I think just three or four. Anyway, Delta is a lot better than the last couple of times. I don't think I even had to peekaboo shoot the Revenants, which is really nice. But now, get to go out here. Did not do super well against all that hit scan. All right. Kill 
Uh, okay, so these exclamation marks indicate a pretty serious revenant trap. And that killed the best run I got in the last video. So let's save here. Cross the line, but then, uh, see? Yeah. Cross the line, but immediately head back if I can. Oh, wow, there's even pain gunners in the back. This is gonna be a tough one. Let's see about this. Okay, so the front of the danger blocks blocks me in. So how about I fire some rockets to the back, pick up those medicates. Still failing. And then, yeah, I think for this fight I just gotta go bold. See? Easy as that. That's the kind of fight I love. It's, it is the one where you just gotta be bold and kill them all. So now I get to pick up this red key. That should let me back out. And where was the red key used, I think? Yeah, back up on top of that lift. So, yeah. Couple more rockets. Nice little small trap there, but not too bad. And oh look, bushes on both sides. Bit of symmetry there. And, yep, I can run across. Oh! That, that, I think, is a lift. It'll take me up to where these imps are. And, oh, crap. get the arch vial. Lots of resurrected meat shields though. Damn it. I should be using my chain gun. I have the most I have the most ammo for that. There we go. There we go, that's another good fight. And I beat it first try, I think. Which is kind of surprising. Alright. And when you look at that, the blue key door is right there. So... Press the switch. Ooh! Draining water. That is an ominous looking megasphere after some warning lines. This wad sure loves to tell you what what's about to happen. Yep, not dissimilar to the last trap. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Significantly harder than the last one. Are these... Yeah, I'm gonna be locked in. Great. Well, let's see what I can do. 
Well, definitely not that. Hmm. This is one where I'd ordinarily pull out the BFG, but that's precisely why I don't have the BFG for it. Because it's hard to deal with that archival with all the meat shields around. Damn it, I got the arch file distracted for a second. Uh, come on. Okay. At least he's dead. And I guess there's some infighting going, so I should just let that come to its natural conclusion. the stairs. But actually, crowd's pretty much down to a reasonable size at this point. Like, I, I should just go back to... Yeah. There we go. That wasn't... Took a bit of luck, but that wasn't terrible. That was entirely manageable. So I guess I have to shoot these two switches. That one opens that door, which has a switch in it. Which I think opened half of those bars or something? Oh yeah, and there's the rest of the bars. Oh, and that's the exit. With those two very Skillsaw-esque medikits. Just in case I'm low on health and playing on continuous. I love when mappers do that. That was Asphyxiate by T-Will. Definitely my best map in the set. Um... Just so... All, all of the major set pieces were super fun to figure out. And yeah, very skill saw like mapping style of just arcadey, fast moving fights, forcing the player to go bold, and then just being generous to all kinds of playstyles. Yeah, I don't have a single problem with that map. It is great. Ooh. This is 8079's contribution. Salvage. That is a very interesting midi. We're starting on a beach, and I don't... I don't think... That's been the intro to any map. I guess it's kind of like Syriac Harris's Overboard map set, but now it's vanilla. This is a really atmospheric start, both to the MIDI and to the map itself. What happens if I just jump in here? More. Atmosphere. Oh, look! There's an AD signature on the ottoman.
When are the monsters gonna come? Oh! That area was beautiful. It's too bad I couldn't linger in it because of the damaging floor. Okay, this is definitely where the monsters are gonna come in. I'm gonna resist the urge to save. I wanna try this single segment. Let's just keep... Okay, there's some enemies. And naturally, the midi is picking up, too. I didn't realize I was on a corner there. Playing a bit absent-mindedly. Gotta pay attention! In order to beat this one. I bet... Oh. I guess the rocket launcher isn't trapped. I was just supposed to use it in the next room. I wonder if this is an 8079 original midi, because I know that he's kinda known with his midis. This certainly sounds in line with what I've heard of his music. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm wrong, though. Because this could just as easily be like some side-scrolling action game type track. I'm actually gonna turn it up more. There we go. Definitely a trap. I keep reaching for the save button, even though I'm trying to be single segment here. It's just that... Like, I wouldn't even mind playing this map again, because I get to see all that really cool intro scenery again. I mean, it's not necessarily like an all-time memorable map in terms of scenery, but it's like real standout in this squad. Cause like, most of Squonker team seems to be interested in like, the textures are kind of perfunctory. Like, they're, they're there to catch your eye, but the combat is the focus in most of the other maps. This is a map that really cares about its atmosphere. Back to the intro section. If not, like, about to transition into it. Have I been. Okay, I haven't been this way. There's no way it's just letting me exit here. And if it is, then I'm not gonna go with that. Okay, yeah. It looks like I'm gonna need to get a yellow key, and a red key, maybe also a blue key. Okay. 
think I have the Berserk unless I'm forgetting. Um, Incubus on the ground there. Just saved me a couple bullets. Can't seem to attack me, but I shouldn't get complacent about that. This is a really good map. There's the art vial. Kinda of thinking like it's gotta be an art vial soon. <laughs> Just to latch it up the the intrigue, I guess. Oh accidentally released some more enemies. That is okay. Oh look, rockets. gonna walk straight into that trap. Oh look. I'm gonna wait, okay. Now I'm gonna walk into the trap cells. Oh. This doesn't look too bad. Got some cacos and revenant. There's a pain element. Get rid of them. Okay. Two lost souls, not too bad. So I guess now I just have to jump down. And this has got to be a big set piece fight. Yep. Ooh, there goes my single segment run. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to take a break, but this might not be the end of the video, because I want to finish this map. Because it is stellar. Alright, I am back. And it's time... To try and finish 8079's salvage. This might take a while, but hopefully not too long, because up until that double archvile fight, it was a pretty easy map. But this time, I'm playing with saves. Yeah, that. 
absolutely beautiful area. And then we have the rocket launcher. And I'm still playing continuous. That's why not. Somewhat get the sense that this map set wants to accommodate both pistol start and continuous, which I think is how all map sets should do it. At least if they're going for like a continuous experience. I gotta go back for some health. If there's extra health lying around. Not forward. <laughs> That's forward. Okay, what? Where did I get here from again? I definitely remember. Okay. I guess I'm starting over again. <laughs> because of those damn Revenant missiles. Alright. This time, I'm gonna make a save right before entering the actual area with enemies. I think I set my volume one inch too high, yeah, that's good. And after this fight, Assuming I don't get totally blasted, I'm gonna save. very picky about volume. I keep changing it up and down. Alright. Yep. This map isn't giving me many shells, I've noticed. Like, I, I, I'm running out of shells a lot. Fair, I haven't seen the super shotgun in this map either, so maybe it's not supposed to be useful at this point in time. Alright. I think last time. I just ran around and then went in with the chain gun. I think I'm gonna do it again. I did get the plasma for this, but it feels like a waste. 
There's some maps where I really shouldn't have any compunctions about wasting plasma, but this feels like one where I should absolutely save my ammo if I don't need it. The heavier weapons, or at least the plasma. Funnily enough, I think this kind of reminds me of, of Eternity. Partly because a lot of the textures in um, this wad are from Otex, but also like the general style of the sort of cave environments is very of Eternity. a convenient main kibbutz. He's no threat to me unless I decide to jump down there, which I'm not doing. Oh, look. Not only... I don't think I ever triggered that fight last time. This time I'm running out of bullets instead of shells. That's interesting. Anyway, Berserk obtained. Um, so that'll make certain enemies easier to deal with. But I'm not going to use it just yet. Rest of my ammo on that. Oh shit! I forgot about the arch file. Someone's there. Okay. Thankfully, there's plenty of health in this room. I don't know why I'm not saving. I really should be saving. But whatever. Absolutely full of rockets. This is definitely a rocket heavy map. Might as well use them. Okay. ambush. Which contains one pain element.
Not getting pain elementals isn't actually the best choice because that was just dumb of me. Not getting pain elementals may not be a great choice because if they fire a lost soul it can get caught in front of you, but neither is like I don't know if I should be just dishing out that advice if I can't even not rocket a revenant in front of me that I knew was in front of me. Okay. Okay. Health, armor is adequate. I suppose now I just jump down into the big set piece that killed me last time. Actually, I'm not sure. I, I'm using set piece as a word pretty loosely, I acknowledge. That is not how you win. Okay, there we go. There we go, that's how you win. So now just lock it at the back. Get rid of those last remaining threats that were gonna kill me if I didn't deal with the arch vial fast enough. Or the arch vials in this case. Is there a mancubus above me? Yeah. Might as well. There we go. So, I feel like either the blue key or that switch is going to lead to something. So I guess let's save and find out. Oh, that just lets me back up. And the blue key is also fine. Okay. Yeah. But now I have the blue key, so I can go all the way back, that's not a door. I can go all the way back to the blue key door. But first, I want to jump down here and see what's up. Other than that Mancubus being there. There's going to be a trap if I pick up this one um, health bonus. Yes, there is. Just because. Why not? Was it worth it? something up there do I do I dare oh I think I I think I was only allowed to do that once sad but I can just go back up take the blue key door and if I die I am not going there again Oh, there's a whole stack of rad suits that are naturally trapped. I like that new rad suit texture. It's neat. I don't even see where I where that art file is. Oh, he's over there. Oh, crap. Just barely died there. Okay. Not saving that trap for later. Not triggering it. Instead, I'm going to head straight to the blue key door. I 
guess that just leads to the same place, so whatever. And then I now know that these bad suits are trapped. So I'm just gonna trigger that quietly. And head over to where the art file is. I swear, the art file is like a core Doom mechanic. I really can't imagine the game without it. I don't know what I'm going to do with those rad suits, though, so... I guess go into that little blue dimension. Yeah. Grab one. Oh yeah, it's called a diving suit. So they made D hacks changes specifically for this map. That is really cool. Anyway, I am wasting precious diving suit seconds. Oh, there's another area. This is all super cool. I wonder if the last... I wonder if like the second half of this map set is gonna have more of these underwater areas. I called it the blue dimension, but it's very clearly just meant to be underwater. Oh shit. Get out. Well placed medikit. I guess those blue doors might mark areas that the diving suit is needed in. Okay, let's pick up another one. Head back through here. Try to retrace all my steps. The maze-like nature of this cavern isn't helping. Okay, auto map. Show me the way. There we are. You know, just gonna rock at these guys so that I can get rid of them quick quickly. Okay. Oh shit, my diving suit's running out again? Damn, these do not last long. Where's the other side? Fucking hell. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do instead? I'm gonna grab this first suit. And I'm actually gonna head... If I can make... make it... To... The starting area. Which is... Okay, yeah, it's that way. And see if there are any, like, secrets to be found. Okay. 
getting the idea that this area is just meant as a tone setter or something. Because I don't see anything that looks like a secret that's on the cliffs above. So might as well head back out and grab another suit to immediately go underwater into this area where apparently I have a real need to be speedy. This is a mechanic that mandates speed. And as soon as there's any sign of my suit running out, I can head back. Maybe not even trigger that ambush, because it's not really worth it. It's kind of just a waste of time. See? My diving suit's running out, so I'm gonna scram. Medicate. Grab another stim pack. Head back to the area with the suits. This time I'm gonna use a second save slot. Because I feel like I have to get my routing just right in these underwater areas. Oh, the chain gunners appeared. I guess if they're gonna do that, I might as well just take the armor, because I'm probably going to need it. You know what this could use is, like, extra diving suits. Maybe it breaks the atmosphere, but I don't like having to run all the way back for suits, or having to, like, keep track of how much time I've spent underwater. See? It's already running out. So I need to run back for another one. And I'm dead. Dang! That is... Yeah, that's just kind of mean. I guess if I know the timing roughly... I can... Kinda... Avoid that, like, when did my bad suits start running out before? Actually, around here, I think. How that guy didn't die to four rockets, I don't know. Oh, crap. I guess I didn't get my timing right. This area isn't... it isn't damaging. But it doesn't help me much. Okay, barely survived that. There better be enough health lying around. But like, seriously. Hmm. 
this... I'm starting to turn on this mechanic because... <laughs> It kind of punishes you. This area doesn't damage you either, even though it's got that blue texturing. I wonder... I bet I have to do that whole... fight I found annoying again. And I'm almost out of diving suits, which is making me think that I might be approaching this whole thing wrong. Because there's another door to underwater that I haven't even used yet. So maybe I shouldn't even be trying to fight enemies down here. I should just be like, running for my life, getting out as fast as I can. Oh, there's the red key. And back through the entrance. Yeah, I think I have to go through that other area over here in order to get the yellow key. So I'm gonna have to budget those last two diving suits very well if I'm gonna make it through all that. Well, Let's go. I saved. Not much else I can do than that. Just gotta... Really budget those suits. I don't really see a way forward here. Oh, I see. I have to go up here. Platforming. Damn it. I can't afford mistakes like that. With limited time. See? I'm almost dead. Okay. But, here's what I can do. That wasn't a good plan. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can make better time the second time. that up. Okay. Yeah, speed is essential here. This is no run from it, but... Ah, uh, fuck. D just let me up. <sighs> okay. I did a lot better that time, all things considered, but I'm still gonna add another save slot. Tetanus 513. Um... Okay, so...
Looks like that's all just handled, but... I don't want to believe that's just optional. Cause if so, I, I wasted my last two diving suits. But I guess that's life. Let's enter the exit, just see what happens when I trigger the line that's there. No, I, I need... Okay. Can I just exit? Maybe not. Okay, that was a mistake. Uh, come on. That was also a mistake. Probably just shouldn't have been using the plasma from the beginning. Yeah, I think I need both keys to get the BFG, but... I just get up here. That looks like the exit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I doubt I'm able to get the yellow key at this point, because... I guess if I did more exploring of the undersea areas, but... Yeah. I'm out of diving suits, so like... I can't really do that. I do want to wonder, like... What I could have gotten if my routing was a bit better. Like, this is clearly... a door to underwater. And if I just run as fast as I can, it's not enough. Yeah. I bet the other key was here, and not over there, which is just an optional fight, but that's a nice way of adding replay value to the map, I think. Maybe I'll have to come back and go down the red key path a second time. Wait, yeah. I, I thought that, I thought that was behind bars for some reason, but... I would have been able to get the BFG if I if I routed a lot better, but for now that does it for Salvage by 8079, another brilliant map, and this video is too long now, so I guess the next one will have to be saved for another time. Yeah. So tomorrow We'll see what Dehydrate is all about. Hopefully it's nothing like Ev Eternity's Dehydration. Because that map is just... Really... Really just obnoxiously long. But we'll see. Until next time.